A couple's beloved staffies were found lying in a pool of blood in the garden after being beaten, stabbed and hanged by an intruder. Ben Winstonley and partner Paula Harrison had left dogs Dexter and Tim in their backyard in Wins, Cheshire, when they went to work. But the pits were later found in their blood-soaked kennel with a string of horrific injuries after a thug broke through the six-feet fence. Dexter, who later died from his injuries, had been stabbed in the neck, before being beaten, strangled and hanged, while Tim had also been beaten and strangled. Both pits were rushed to hospital, but Dexter later died. Tim is expected to make a full recovery. Mr. Winstonley, 34, said he and Ms. Harrison, 50, had been left in shock and that they had no clue as to who carried out the attack. When the vet told me a third party had been involved then my head just fell off my shoulders, he said. Normal people don't do that. I don't understand. I just feel devastated and massively upset. I feel helpless because I wasn't there when it happened. I don't have a clue who it was. I don't upset people and I have no enemies I don't like thinking about what would have happened. Mr. Winstonley said it was his parents who had found Dexter injured on Tuesday last week. At the time, they did not realize that Tim was hurt, but Mr. Winstonley spotted his injuries when he later returned home from work. They found Dexter lying in a pool of blood and his head was swollen like a watermelon, he said. They took him to the vets and they did what they could. Ms. Harrison, who works in a tanning shop, said they wanted to warn other pet owners about the dangers of leaving animals in a garden. We want to make people aware and encourage them to be more vigilante and to be careful, she said. We thought they had fought at first or possibly a housebreaking had gone wrong or maybe they tried to steal Dexter. I can't think of any enemies that would do such an evil act. I don't know who would do something like this but it is someone who isn't in the right frame of mind. I feel really bad for Ben because they were best friends. We just want to find the people that are responsible for it. I want to see them punished. She added, when I found out my heart dropped. I felt sick to my stomach. I was so shocked. I am just heartbroken. Mr. Winstonley is known to friends and family as Dr. Doolittle. The couple also have two other dogs and a cat. He said, my mom and dad didn't notice anything wrong with Tim at the time because of the shock and horror of seeing Dexter. They automatically just took him to the vets. I got home that night and I saw Tim was in the corner of the garden shaking. I thought it was strange because he's not normally like that. His face and jaw was swollen and marked. I took him to the vets as well and that's when they informed me there was nothing more they do could do to save Dexter. When the vet saw that it had happened to our other dog her face dropped and said there is definitely a third party invo. For it to happen accidentally to two dogs is virtually impossible. I thought they might have had a fight but she knew by the nature of the dogs that they wouldn't, they are father and son. A spokesman for Cheshire Police said, Cheshire Police received a report that a dog had been found with injuries at an address in Wins. The dog received treatment from a vet but has died. We are working with the RSPCA to establish the circumstances of this incident. We are not currently aware of other incidents of this nature in the area. If anyone has any information that will assist with the investigation they are asked to contact Cheshire Police.